Hey, you guys. Welcome to Tuesday Tasting with Taja. So, one of y'all did say you wanted to see a jam recipe. I'm finna do that now. If you don't know about that, um, jam making, you need, like, um, canning equipment. They got refrigerator jams and, like, jams you don't have to, like, cook and can and all that. I'm not getting in all that because that ain't what I did. I motherfucking can my shit so it'll last on my shelf for about, you know, 12 to 18 months, no problem. So today I'm going to do a sweet hot pepper jam. What I have here is some some sweet snacking peppers or whatever. There's a couple black Hungarian peppers thrown in there from my garden. They, they done got extra ripe so they red, but whatever. And then I'm going to go out to the garden because it's a hot pepper jam. And I'm going to get these sweet peach hot peppers I grew. Yeah! To the most delicious taste some peppers. I mean, they hot as the dickest. I've been waiting all season for these peppers, y'all. But they tasted so delicious. Like, the flavor of the pepper is, like, beyond. The motherfucking peppers is delicious. All right, so this is my sweet peach pepper plant. I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to pick take this one here. Now we got our hot peppers. And we're going to commence to the jamming. Now, I'm going to show you how to can these. You don't have to. If you're just going to cook your jam, you're going to make your jam and then eat it right away. Then you don't have to worry about preserving it. So then you ain't got to worry about cooking it and all of that. Like in the in the water bath. If you're more interested in learning how to can, go ahead and Google that shit. Or, 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 or get on somebody's YouTube and, and learn how to you know can. I'm not teaching that right now. I'm just giving you a jam recipe. Okay? So that's what we get. Remember those other peppers we had? Okay? You want to cut the tops off. Now, once again, because if you don't recognize the value of a Vitamix, then you got the brain worms. There's something wrong with you. Every last recipe, the last couple of freaking weeks, I've been using use this for some part of the recipe or another. Then you can get yourself some little cheap old bullshit blender. Um, but then you're going to have cheap old bullshit chunks. So I'm going to do this. I don't have to have 25 gadgets. Y'all out there probably like, oh, I got a food chopper and I got a, um, a food processor and i got a veggie chopper and all this other foolishness i'm not getting involved with all of that because you know why i don't need 14 appliances when i got one better do the work of 20. boom baby vitamix whole pepper just throw it on in there all i've really got to worry about doing right here right now is cutting the tops off boom so i ain't even worried about getting me no um no cutting board i'm just finna cut these tops off and i'm gonna toss some more in there is get some sweet peppers from the market. You don't have to use these little baby ones. And be honest, they're a pain in the ass to be chopping up if you don't have a damn Vitamix or something. So um, you can get big peppers, but don't get no green ones. That's nasty. Um, always get red peppers, yellow, or orange. All right, and for this, you don't want to liquefy this or nothing. You just finna chop these. All right, so this is what we got right here. Face and hair and smell it. I got a little bit of OCD though, y'all. I ain't been diagnosed. I'm self-diagnosing. I got a little bit of OCD, y'all, so I got to smell this because I got to smell everything. Everything I'm finna eat or everything that might have a smell. Not like doo-doo. I don't have to smell that. But I'm just saying, I got to stick my face in here just because it's like a compulsion. All right. So, depending on how many peppers you're using, you know what I mean, you make as much as you want. Probably add about two cups of water. So enough, once you feel like you got enough jam, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and throw this in the pot and bring this up to a simmer on the stove. At this point, I'm going to add about a half a cup of sugar to my mix here. And I'm going to give that another stir. So I'm going to let that come back to a little simmer. And then I'm going to add some pectin so that that can thicken up. At this point, I would suggest sticking a knife or a spoon, whatever you prefer. I like to use a knife in the freezer. So that you can have a good way of telling if your jam is going to come to the thickness or the gelatination, the congealedness. I don't know the word for that, that you looking for later. So. All right, y'all. So this is pectin. This is the one I use. It's made by Ball. So no sugar needed pectin. That's important. The other kind of pectin requires you to put like three, four, five cups of sugar in your jam. And, and what, like... I'm not making fucking jelly candy. Like, I'm making jelly peppers or jelly strawberries. It, it 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 ain't that much goddamn sugar to be added in the world. But it will require that or it won't gel up. So you can get this here. Uh, no sugar needed pectin. 
okay so that's what i use you can find this on my amazon store as well as the vitamix that i use all the time makes 24 half pints so whatever that is i ain't good with the metric system and all that. maybe that's not the metric system the fuck okay look check it out that's what it do you understand what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying so this is what you need to get okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get another um quarter cup of sugar or so before we put our pectin in now got that so the idea is to add like two to three tablespoons and it just depends on how much um you know jam you made but y'all know i don't measure nothing so i'm finna just you know give it a whirl like that there and then sometimes it'll be all clumped up you see that so i just take the back of my spoon and break them clumps down because you don't want no lumpy jam that's yeah. I mean, it ain't got to be fine powder like, but you know, just get most of the lumps out you can. And then go ahead and add your um, pectin sugar mix. And you want to stir this real good while you shaking it in. It's been about a minute, right? Then this still going to be loosey-goosey. So you're like, how the fuck am I supposed to know if I'm putting the pectin in? So that's when that frozen knife come in, okay? So I'm going to take some of my jam. You just got to get the liquid out. You don't have to get like peppers and stuff. I'm gonna take some of my jam. I don't wanna hold my knife over the heat because then it'd be melted up. And I'ma just drop some on my on my frozen knife. And I like to pour it tilted down like this. See how that's running? But then it stopped. Okay. See that? Let me move my jam because all this steam, you can't see that. See that? See how they stopped running? So that tells me. Then I give it a little taste. Ooh. That's the best tasting goddamn jam I ever made. It is the best tasting sweet pepper hot jam. Them hot sweet peach peppers from out the garden. And you guys, that pepper flavor is all that in that jam. That jam tastes like it got peaches in it. Like peach flavor, not like the nasty stringy texture of peaches. The flavor, it's on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, so my jam is done. Now, it's all kind of techniques online. You can look up fancy ways to get the foam. You might have some foam at your jam. You got the hair like crystal clear. I don't give a shit about that. I told y'all before, I ain't no pretty baker or cook or none of that. God damn it. It's going to taste the best like ever thing you ever put in your damn mouth. Or I, I, I bet you that much. So you're going to go ahead and pour you some on in your jars. You don't want to fill the jars up to the top. You need breathing room up in here for these to seal. Once you pour it in, you want to take a stick like this, a skewer. And you want to just go ahead like this there around. Get the air bubbles out, okay? Go ahead and get that on like that there. Okay. And I mean, just close it up tight. Now I'm gonna lower these back down on in here in this water. Bring this back to boil and cook this. Boil this for 10 minutes. Now once they come out, they had some water on the lids. I like to just take a towel and dab it. Oh, that one popped already. You'll know if they actually seal properly because the tops will pop. So I hope you learned something for today, okay? How to make your own hot pepper jam or any other jam. It's just the same techniques. You know what I'm saying? Uh, chop up the fruit and your Vitamix that you get on my Amazon store. You understand what I'm saying? And you go ahead and put it in the pot. You can mix some water in there if you don't. Oh, fuck shit! Oh, God. I forgot to tell y'all. You're supposed to add some vinegar to this or some lemon juice. Because that's going to help preserve it. And I fucking didn't. So, not that my pepper jam will last any more than a month or something. Any goddamn way. <sighs> but I'm just saying. It's probably only going to last like three months. Because I forgot to put the goddamn vinegar in there. <laughs> shit. But whatever, if you make this at home, put a little bit of red wine vinegar in there. Just, just a splash. Whatever, figure it out. All right, y'all. Remember, be decent to yourselves, then be decent to everybody else. Bye. Alex had a rough day, y'all. She mad. She done ripped her goddamn pants and the thighs was hanging out. All right, y'all. See you. <laughs> that, is, that is what happened. All right, y'all. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>